we'll guide you through how to create a Stripe account. Let's get right into this. Firstly, what you need to do is come to Stripe. Once you're on Stripe, you need to go and press on start now like this. And this is how we can start registering for our account. So what you first need to do is go and enter in an email. So I'll enter mine now. You then need to enter your full name, choose your country and enter a password. And then you can tap on create account. We'll need to go and verify our email. So here we are. All I need to do is tap on verify email address. And there we go. Then what I can do is come back to the original page. If you're taken to a test dashboard as well, then just go to the top right and hover over test mode and then tap on activate your account. And then we can go and finish off sort of registering. So here we are, you need to enter your business location and the type of business. In this case, I'm an um, individual. I'll then press continue. Next up, you need to go and enter and verify your personal details. Let me do that. Next up is business details. So if you've got a VAT or VAT number, then go and enter it here. I don't have one, so I can just leave it blank. Then you need to choose your industry. So click here and you need to sort of find the closest one to what yours actually is. So because I make YouTube videos, I might go into education maybe, uh, maybe other educational services um, because I do like how to videos and things like that. And then what we can do is go and enter our website here. I just added my business website. You'll then need to enter a product description. It says provide a one to two sentence description. Make sure you note when you typically charge customers. So I put, I create how to articles and I put, I charge customers during checkout. I'll then tap continue. And then you need to decide how long after paying will customers typically receive their goods and services. So usually for me, it's with one day as it's more like a digital product on my website. I'd then go and tap continue. And then for the next part is public details. So this is what's going to appear on like payment statements and invoices. So I'll just have guideround.com. So enter what you think's best. And then you'll also need to enter a customer support phone number as well. It's time to add your bank so you can receive payouts. So make sure you set your currency, the country, and then enter your account details. Stripe will then ask you to go and keep your account secure. So what you can do is choose how you want to do this. I'll just use SMS. After securing your account, you can actually go and do automatic VAT calculation. I'm not going to, so I'll press no thanks. Then what you can do is review all your details here. And then at the bottom, you can agree and submit. So make sure you agree to the Stripe services agreement. It will then say thanks for submitting and your dashboard is then going to go and load. So here it is. And then what we can do is start using uh, stripes. We can go and click on payments, for example, um, and we could then go and create payment links and payments. And yeah, it's that simple, guys. If you found this useful, please leave a like.